Robomate Plus, India's largest curriculum based study app. Download the app now. Welcome back. We are seeing the section wise weightage of your syllabus, and the next section that I have chosen here is coordinate geometry. There are three topics in your syllabus in coordinate geometry first chapter, coordinate geometry, next, graphical solution, and the last one, distance formula. Now, out of these two topics, you will get only one question from any one topic for four marks, and from distance formula, you could get one question for three marks. So, total two questions from this section for seven marks. Let us see from coordinate geometry what are the different type of questions that they could ask for four marks. Now, if you see this question, they say prove that these two lines are not parallel and this has to be done on a graph paper. You have to plot the graphs of these two equations and you have to show that the lines are intersecting. Now, since this is a graph based question, they could ask you this question for four marks. They could also ask there is a very small possibility one such question where you have to plot the given points, join the points, form a figure name the type of figure which is formed and find the area of the figure. So, there is a small possibility that they may ask one such question. Moving further, I feel they will definitely ask a question from graphical solution where you have to solve the two given equations simultaneously on a graph paper. So, there are two equations here and they say solve graphically these two simultaneous equations. It means draw the graphs of these two lines and find the coordinates of the point of intersection. So, you could get one such a sum for four marks. Moving further from distance formula, you will get one question for three marks. Now, mostly in that sum, distance will be given and you will have to find out coordinates of some missing point. So, this is the first sample here. It is there in module number six. They can ask this question for three marks. This is one more sample where distance is given and you have to find out coordinates of point A. Now, they can ask this for three marks. It is there in module number seven. Moving further, there is a possibility that they may ask such a question where they will give you four points and they will say prove that these are vertices of a particular type of quadrilateral. Here you have to prove that these are vertices of a rectangle. It means using distance formula, you will show that opposite sides are equal and diagonals are also equal. And when you show that opposite sides are equal and diagonals are equal, this becomes a rectangle. So, you could get it for three marks. It is there in module number 15. Uh, one more sum is this where they say find the area of the rhombus which is formed by these four points. Now, you should know the formula for area of a rhombus which is half into first diagonal into second diagonal. So, by distance formula, you have to find out the length of AC here, which is the first diagonal. Then you have to find out length of BD here, which is the second diagonal and then apply the formula for area of rhombus. So, these are the different type of sums which they could ask from distance formula. The next section wise weightage is of the section of geometry and the chapters which we are included here are triangles, which is made up of three subtopics that is congruency, isosceles and inequalities. You can expect one question from each subtopic. So, total three questions from triangles, three marks each. So, weightage of triangles is nine marks. You could get one question from midpoint and its converse for four marks, one from Pythagoras for four marks, two from rectilinear figures for six marks, that is three plus three marks, one from construction for three marks, one from area theorems for four marks and two from circle, one of three marks, one of four marks. So, total you can expect around 11 questions from the section of geometry weighing 37 marks. That is the highest weightage of any section in your ninth standard. Now, let us see chapter wise, which are the important type of questions which could be asked from these topics. So, beginning with triangles where there are three subtopics, the first one is congruency. You can expect one question of three marks and here is a sample question which is there in module number 10 where you have to use SAS test and you have to use SSS test. Let us see the next sample here. So, here is a question which is based on the alternate angles associated with opposite sides of a parallelogram. Also, you have to use here the concept of vertically opposite angles. 
So this question is there in module number 13. Let us proceed further. This is very important question. You will find it in module number 15. There are two triangles where the two sides of first triangle are equal to the corresponding two sides of the second triangle and the median of the first triangle is equal to the median of the second triangle. Now using the equality of medians, you have to prove that these two triangles are congruent. Very interesting and important question. Moving further, if you see this particular figure, initially you feel it's a very complex sum, but believe me, it's a very simple sum where easily you can prove that triangle QAC and triangle BAS are congruent by SAS test. What you have to do is first you have to prove that angle QAC is equal to angle BAS and once you do that, the triangles easily become congruent by SAS test. A very simple sum, you will find it in module number 19. Moving further, the next subtopic of triangles is isosceles triangle, wherein you could get a numerical question. For example, if you see this question, the figure is a combination of two isosceles triangles where you have to solve their base angles. It's a very simple sum, you will find it in module number 23. Moving further, you could expect a proof type question from isosceles triangle for three marks. This one is there in module number 25. The third subtopic of triangles is inequalities, where again you will have a three marks question. Now you could get a question where numerical values of certain angles in the figure will be given. And based on that, you have to compare the given sides. So you can find this sum in module number eight. You can expect it for three marks. This is another sample where certain angles are given and you have to compare some size. You have to use the concept of angle bisectors here. Moving further, you could also get a question on the property of sum of two sides in a triangle is always greater than the third side. So this is a sum which is based on that particular property. Moving further, the next chapter is midpoint and intercept theorem chapter. Now you could get one question of four marks from this particular topic. And there are some theorems in this topic which are very important. There are three theorems here. The proof of midpoint theorem, the proof of its converse and the proof of equal intercept theorem. These three proofs you should do very well. They could ask one of these proofs in your board exam for four marks. Or maybe you will get a numerical question based on the property of two midpoints of a triangle. This particular sum is there in model number five. Moving further. You could also get proof type of question where you have a trapezium. So here is one such question related to a trapezium. Very important question. You should practice this well. It is there in module number five. You can get in your exam for four marks. Or you could get a question where there is a triangle and the midpoints of all the three sides are present. And it is a theoretical type of question where you have to prove that AE and DF are bisecting each other. This sum is there in module number six. You can expect it for four marks. Moving further, the next chapter is Pythagoras theorem, where you can expect one more question again for four marks. You could get a numerical question, which is a practical situation based sum. For example, this question, which is based on the situation of ladder and wall, you could get it for four marks. It is present in module number two. Or maybe you will get a theoretical question where there is a figure which is made up of two right triangles. Such figures are very important in this particular chapter. Figure combined by two right triangles. So this numerical question you could get or you could get this next one which is there in module number five. You can expect it for four marks. This is another practical situation based sum where they are talking about two poles and they are talking about the distance between the two poles. Very interesting and important question which may come in your exam. Moving further, this is another sum where there is a combination of a rectangle and a right triangle. So you have to use rectangle as well in this particular sum. You will find it in module number 10 and you can expect it for four marks. Moving further, you could get, there is a very less possibility, but you could get a theory type of question. It means a two proof type of question, where again, the figure is a combination of two right triangles. So two right triangles combination is very important for this particular chapter. 
Moving further, this is another two proof type of question which is a combination of four right triangles. Moving on to the next topic that is rectilinear figure, you can expect two questions of three marks each and again this is a chapter where theorems are very very important, particularly the theorems where you have to prove some result related to diagonals of different types of quadrilaterals. For example, if you see this theorem, it says that prove that opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal there in model number 25, you can expect it for 3 marks and as I said the diagonal properties here you have to prove that the diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other at right angle, important theorem there in model number 29. Further if you see this one, it says prove that the diagonals of a rectangle are equal or maybe they can ask the property related to diagonals of a parallelogram where you have to prove that diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. So diagonal related theorems are very important in this particular topic. You could get a numerical question. Here this sum is based on properties of angles of rhombus and equilateral triangle and it's a numerical question. It is there in model number 41 and you could expect it for 3 marks in your exam. This is a theoretical type of question where ABCD is a parallelogram and one more quadrilateral is formed inside, you have to prove that the inner quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Such questions are also very important, you will find this one in model number 49 for 3 marks. Moving on to the next topic that is construction of polygons and in construction of polygons you will get one question for sure for 3 marks in section B. Now if you see this particular question here, they are asking us to construct a parallelogram when lengths of both the diagonals are given and the angle between the diagonals is given, such type of questions throughout the chapter whether it is parallelogram or rectangle or rhombus or square are very very important where lengths of diagonals are given. So a particular sum of this type is there in module number 9, 3 marks is the weightage of this particular construction. Now they say construct a parallelogram here when two consecutive sides and height is given. Now again the sums where height of the quadrilateral is given, again such sums are very very important and one such sample is there in model number 10 for 3 marks. If you see this next question, they are asking us to construct a rectangle where again lengths of diagonals are given but if you read the situation carefully, length of only one diagonal is given wherein you have to recall that both the diagonals of a rectangle are equal. So if length of one diagonal is given, it is as good as both the diagonals are given and angle between the diagonals is also given, such sums are very very important. Moving on to the next chapter that is area theorems, you can get one question of 4 marks from here. There are various properties, the first property is relation between two parallelograms, second property is relation between a parallelogram and a triangle. And the third property is relation between two triangles, all three properties very very important. This is based on relation between two triangles there in module number 11 in area theorems you could expect it for 4 marks. If you see this next question, it is again based on relation between two triangles and relation between a parallelogram and a triangle there in module number 14 you could expect it for 4 marks. There are some more properties in this chapter, for example the property of median of a triangle or the relation between two triangles which have a common vertex and whose bases are on the same line, very very important property. So this particular sum is based on those properties, this sum is there in model number 17, you can expect it for 4 marks. This is again a sum based on the median property of a triangle. Moving on to the last chapter of geometry section that is circle, you can expect two questions from circle, one for 3 marks and another for 4 marks. Now circle could be divided into three sections, the first section is based on the property of chords, perpendicular from the center to the chord bisects the chord, very important property. So from this first section you could get one question for 3 marks. But very important, normally they will give you questions where two chords are involved. So you will have to apply the property twice. So this is one such sum, it is there in module number 12. Moving on further, here there is only one chord but there are two circles. 
Again, very important question in model number 16. Moving further, this is a question based on parallel chords and I believe this is very important for your exam. There will be definitely a question on parallel chords where you have to use the property perpendicular from the center to the chord, bisects the chord. There will be two chords and both the chords will be parallel. Module number 18, you can expect it for four marks. The second section of this chapter is the section which is based on properties of equal chords and their distances from the center. So this is a theoretical question based on this property, very important sum. You could get one such question in your paper and this one is there in module number 27. You can expect it for four marks. This is one more theoretical question, proof type question based on the properties of equal chords and their distances from the center. It is there in module number 28 for four marks. And the last section of this particular chapter is the section where you learn the properties of equal central angles, equal arcs and equal chords. You can expect one such sum based on these properties. This one is there in module number 36. You could get it for three marks. So all the three parts of circle chapter are very, very important and you will get two questions from any of these three parts. I hope you understood the section wise weightage of geometry. We will continue this discussion of section wise weightage in the next module. Thank you for watching this video lecture. To watch more such interesting videos, attempt tests and to get instant analysis, download the RoboBait Plus app now.